Ihangutu be entos krata kata kush enguch ampe kutarapra katuraste pregdiste indus to korata kata. Oh God, bruise me with the light of your revelation. I let's stand to the ministry, a testimony of Captain Kuman from Benny Hinn a couple of days ago. He spoke something that caught my interest. But I'm going to tell you something that anointing for dominion is scary and dangerous. Catherine Kuman experienced it only for the, for, the, for the last three years of her life. And I saw it on her. Dear God, did I see it on her. I was there. I was there. Nobody had to tell me. I saw it. With my own eyes, I saw it. Now, Catherine Kuman has been a minister for many, many years. Many, many years. But she stepped into the glory of the Spirit of God three years before she passed. Three years was what took what was the only three years that I, Pastor John, would say she did ministry. The rest was nonsense. Do you know that there are men of God, preachers that have been doing ministry for 20 years that were never captured in Zion? I heard a story from Billy Graham before he passed on. Somebody asked him and said, if you were given the privilege to preach again, to come back to your youth, what would you do? He said, I would preach less. He said, I would preach maybe 10% and use 90 to 80% of my life in prayer and studying of scriptures. When a father could speak that way, so how many preachers do we have in the streets talking? Yes, they are talking revelation, but there's no glory. You know why? You can go and start talking revelation, but time to prove what you're saying, you can't prove it. Jesus never spoke revelation. His revelation was captured in bringing a dead man for four days out from the grave. That alone is an un indisputable revelation. Show me a man that could ask for five loaves of bread and two fishes. He multiplied it and fed 5,000 men. You are, we, are, we are talking nonsense. Preaching with no power. Didn't Jesus say, go not to preach for me. Wait until you receive dynamo. He didn't ask them to go and witness. He said, you will not be my witness until you receive power. Now, how many are witnessing Christ that have no power? You think power is mama, 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 mama. headache got healed? Believe you shall be healed? Jesus never told anybody to believe to be healed. He healed everyone. When the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of his garment, the blood dried up. That's power. Father, if you have given me only 10 people in this ministry, I'll be the most successful pastor in the world. I will not be deceived by crowd. I will not be deceived by the applauses of men. I will not be deceived by the acceptance of men. Oh, Father. 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 Help me to be focused. I don't seek the approval of men. Help me, Lord, to stay humble. Help me to stay broken. Help me, Lord. May my life be a blessing to many. If I have 10 years more to live, if I have five more, if I have one day, if I have two more years, if I have two more days, let it be that God used these days for his glory. Mighty Kutakatupa, Lord, bring me into the dying of the depths of your world. Master Father of spirits, 
grant me the seven spirits of God. Yeah, the fullness of the spirit. Yeah, the deep things of the spirit. So, what the enters the frequencies, the electricity of Zion, and be the same. Your increase in the spirit decreases your carnality.